गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक केयर ऑफ अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस ऑफ एक्वेस एन ए सी एल सोल्यूशन नाव इन ऑर्डर टू इलेक्ट्रोलाइज एक्वेस एन ए सी एल सोल्यूशन वी नीड अ सूटेबल डिवाइस सो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ बीकर एंड नाव वी नीड टू एड aqueous nacl solution to this beaker i mean this beaker contains aqueous nacl solution and to this two graphite electrodes are immersed i mean in this solution now these graphite electrodes are to be connected to cell or battery like this now remember this is aqueous nacl solution and these are electrodes graphite electrodes what we call carbon electrodes carbon electrodes so this is the assembly for electrolysis of aqueous nacl solution <coughs> now when we add sodium chloride to water ultimately water is a solvent having high value of dielectric constant so it facilitates ionization no doubt thus nacl undergo dissociation producing na plus and cl minus ions in aqueous solution now we know very well that the oppositely charged ions are attracted or get migrated towards opposite electrode thus sodium ions whatever present get attracted towards negatively charged electrode and chloride ion get attracted towards positively charged electrode now crucial thing is the electrode reactions i mean reactions taking place at respective electrode so first of all take a look what happens at positive <coughs> electrode so at positive electrode two type of reactions are expected as we are <coughs> using aqueous nacl for electrolysis purpose now first thing is oxidation of chloride ions so cl minus ions present in the solution get attracted towards what positively charged electrode and thereby by losing electron they get discharged and thereby liberation of chlorine gas takes place with the release of electron so loss of electron is the process of oxidation thus this is oxidation reaction and another very important thing is the standard oxidation potential for this i mean for oxidation of chloride ions recorded is minus 1.36 volt now another thing is there is a competition i mean this is one of the species to get oxidized now another thing is water also get oxidized so water which is present as we are using what aqueous solution of nacl then water oxidize and thereby liberation of oxygen takes place along with h plus and release of electrons no doubt and the loss of electron is the process of oxidation now if we calculate the standard oxidation potential for this very reaction then it is found to be minus 0.4 volt now question is if there is two subsequent reactions i mean these two are the possible reactions which may take place at positive electrode but as standard oxidation potential of oxidation of water is minus 0.4 volt which is much greater than that of this i mean 
oxidation standard oxidation potential of the cl minus so it is expected that this water must undergo oxidation but remember these are the calculative values so calculations sometimes uh, record different but practically what happens this water in order to oxidize this water we need to supply excess electricity and that is the value records too high and the excess electricity required for oxidation of water then the calculated is known as over voltage so over voltage required right here is much higher and at that very condition cl minus ions ultimately get oxidized and thereby liberation of chlorine takes place so due to over voltage water will not oxidize for sure thus oxidation of chloride ion takes place at positive electrode and as oxidation takes place at this electrode this is said to be anode so positive electrode right here is anode as oxidation taking place now take a look at another electrode i mean at negative electrode at negative electrode now what happens at negative electrode so electrons liberated in the process of oxidation gained at this electrode i mean we are dealing with reduction process right now and remember there are two chances i mean two subsequent reductions may creep so first of all sodium ions whatever present at that electrode tend to gain electron and undergo reduction depositing sodium solid and the standard reduction potential recorded is minus 2.71 volt this is one of the possibility now another thing is reduction of water so as we are using aqueous solution no doubt water is there and water may get reduced as well so when water reduces thereby liberation of hydrogen gas takes place along with oh negative ions and the best thing i mean the calculative thing the standard reduction potential recorded for this is found to be minus 0.83 volt now the comparative thing is the value i mean standard reduction potential value for the reduction of water is higher than that of na plus ions thus it is expected that the water must undergo reduction rather than the sodium ions and hence this reaction creeps up i mean at that electrode i mean at negative electrode reduction of water takes place rather than uh, that of what na plus ion now we need to take care of the net cell reaction net cell reaction another thing here reduction is taking place thus electrode may termed as cathode we know very well that electrode at which reduction takes place is known as cathode now when we add these two reactions i mean at anode this reaction is dominant and taking place and at cathode reduction of water is expected as reduction potential i mean standard reduction potential for this is greater now when we add these two we get the cell reaction and remember cell reaction is always redox reaction as we are adding reduction and oxidation half so let let us see what is the oxidation reaction so our oxidation reaction dominant oxidation reaction is cl minus aqueous gives cl2 gas plus 2 electrons and our reduction reaction is this i mean twice of h2o liquid plus 2 electrons gives 
H2 gas plus OH minus aqueous. Now when we add these two, ultimately electrons get cancelled. So what remains? Twice of Cl minus aqueous plus twice of H2O liquid gives Cl2 gas plus H2 gas plus OH minus aqueous. So this is the redox reaction taking place during the course of electrolysis of aqueous solution of NaCl. Now the results or conclusion, I mean results of electrolysis. Now what are the conclusion of this electrolysis? So first thing is at positive electrode at positive electrode due to over voltage chlorine gas get liberated I mean Cl2 gas get liberated this is the first uh, means observation second thing is at another electrode I mean at negative electrode reduction of water predominates and thereby liberation of H2 gas takes place so at negative electrode H2 gas get liberated and third very important thing is during reduction process OH minus ions are also obtained which subsequently combine with unreduced Na plus ions in the assembly and that lead to the formation of NaOH so NaOH is obtained obtained due to combination due to combination of Na plus and OH minus ions thus this process I mean this electrolysis lead to the formation of NaOH thus it is one of the methods to prepare NaOH as well Thus, electrolysis of aqueous NaCl is rather different than that of molten NaCl. Thank you very much.